Hey there, YouTube. With that Wuhan Chinese virus, the CNOV 2019 virus that's going around, I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and start making our own hand sanitizer. If you've been searching YouTube for your own medical supplies, you might have noticed uh, things are running out pretty quickly. That includes masks, as well as uh, some decent hand sanitizer for a decent price. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some 99% isopropyl alcohol. We're going to take some almost pure aloe vera. This is from South Korea. Uh, so you know they have some of the best ingredients. And the goal is to get it down to about a 70 to 30% mixture or ratio of aloe vera to isopropyl. And then we'll put them in our own sterile little squeeze boxes. The idea is we can make as much of this stuff as we want. I got a, uh, what is this, a 12 pack of this for like $20, pretty cheap. This was also uh, not too expensive on Amazon. I'll put links both of these, or actually I'll put links of all the supplies of this into the, uh, into the video so that you guys can do this on your own. A little bit of background, I am not a professional by any means. In fact, uh, when I went through university, I only took biology as a hobby uh, because there was a girl at the time that I really, really liked. And part of the benefit was taking biology classes. And believe it or not, I actually graduated at the top of the class and score-wise in my biology classes. <laughs> So that was kind of funny. Uh, maybe I should have been a, a doctor or something. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So to begin, we got sterile stuff, unopened bottles of everything. We got some sterile uh, tongue depressors here that we're going to use to mix. A couple sterile uh, brand new out of the box cups that we're going to use to weigh on. And we're going to try to get a good ratio here. Once we get all nice and mixed, we'll go ahead and pour some of our hand sanitizers. We'll pass that out to the family and hopefully we will stay healthy. So let's go ahead and start by opening up what we need. Remember to wear gloves and masks if you have them. I do recommend to go ahead and try to buy some masks uh, in 95 or higher rating in 99 if you can because they are selling out very very fast. Uh, from everywhere I've looked, including Amazon. Might be better at getting them locally. Ooh, look at that. Wow. There is a little seal on top of this. Some kind of cap. All right. Well, before we open that, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start our measurements. We'll start off by tarring the cup. And uh, let's go with, since we're doing it by weight, let's go with, start off with like four grams. Should be more than enough. Let's see. Because, wow, this is like, wow. This is awesome stuff. This is skincare stuff by the way, from South Korea. Actually, instead of four grams, let's go based off of that little droplet. And then we'll just mix this vigorously, vigorously until it's nicely dissolved. And then we got ourselves some hand sanitizer. Now I suppose you can mix this as much as you want or as little as you want with the ratios. The reason you don't want it at a 99% alcohol level is because that actually does a detriment. There's a, um, there's a, uh, there's a diminishing amount of returns the higher the percentage of alcohol you go. There's plenty of studies that say, or that prove that with a small water percentage in the alcohol, 
you actually get better penetration for cell death uh, in bacteria and viruses and things of that nature. Now remember, I'm not a professional by any means, and um, I'm not even sure if this will kill viruses, which the Wuhan Chinese virus is, hence the virus name, but it will do well in killing other things for sure. And the consistency is not too bad. The smell is very nice. I think that is what I would like to have for a hand sanitizer. All right. Bottle number one. Just do a nice little pour. There we go. That's looking good. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is our bottle of hand sanitizer. I'm not sure if this ring is supposed to be... Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. So we'll make up a whole bunch of these. Pass these around. And that's going to cost us pennies on the dollar if we were to buy it from the store. Let's go ahead and make them a whole bunch of more. Hey guys, this is just a quick update. As I'm mixing the 50-50 mix, it has this very interesting annealing effect to it. This has turned into a gel-like substance, which looks pretty interesting. But, um, yeah, we'll We'll see how it pours here in a bit. This is Apple with Apatox. Hey guys, this is Apple with Apatox. Thank you for waiting on me. I have completed my batch of making four bottles of this 70% isopropyl alcohol mixed with 30% aloe vera. And I've made six bottles of a 50-50% mix of isopropyl alcohol and aloe vera. Um, so this is going to be our first test to see how it feels on the hands. And which one I kind of like with my first impressions. This should be good at both stopping any kind of cold and flu viruses as well as the coronavirus. Um, at least to some degree. Let's just get a feel. Okay. Smells really good. Does feel like normal alcohol. Like, like if you're putting on some cologne or something. All right, that's not too bad. Let's give this 50-50% mix a try. Ooh, that has a lot more soothing feeling, most likely because of that aloe vera. Both mixes should be effective, and both mixes are a lot cheaper than if you were buying them directly from the store with the added benefit of knowing exactly what's going into your product. Anyway, thank you for enjoying this episode of Oppa Talks. You guys stay healthy and have a wonderful day.